and away they go from the start here and Hancock makes it look so easy doesn't he he's got the lead early on and he won't be beaten from here you just know that Jensen Jensen is second Everson is third and Kasper Zak has gone to the back Everson will really wind it on in the dirt on the bottom bend but Hancock has the lead second place is Jensen Jensen and third is Niels Christian Everson who won't give up he's driving around the outside super pass from Everson and he's now hunting down Greg Hancock hope you don't have to eat your words Nigel you won't be beaten from here because <laughs> Niels Christian Everson is coming on strong here really strong ride from the Danish boy to get into second place Kasper Zak out the back the world champion supreme out of gate three he's not an easy man to pass he's got eyes in the back of his head roaring through that turns three and four the pit corner Hancock wide Everson coming at him Everson coming on strong whoa time to go less than a lap can Hancock hang on Hancock now looking over his shoulder as Everson oh! comes Christian Everson with the ride of the night. Where has he found that from? Sensational speedway. I told you Greg Hancock would not be beaten from there. <laughs> and Niels Christian Everson just makes me look absolutely foolish yet again. <laughs> yeah, he spoke too soon, son. He spoke too soon. Here we go with the grand final here in Gorjov. Who's going to hit that first turn? Hancock's made a beauty. Wokingham is going to try and go high into the third now and get some drive around the outside. But Zagar is challenging there now, and Wokingham, there's no room there. No room there at all for Wokingham. Hancock has the lead here. Whoa. And now Smarsvik has gone wide and has lost control of the speedway bike. And Wokingham comes through into third. Hancock has the lead, but Zagar's got speed. Matty Zagar is all over Greg Hancock. Hancock closes Wofenden. the door. Wokingham tries the inside line. They're really bunched up. Who's going to win this GP? Not easy to call. Hancock out in front. Zagor's going to hit the front down the back straight. Got to be. He can throw a blanket over it. Zagor gets himself to the front. Wolfenden now beginning to work the outside as well. When he squeezes his way through into second place, switches to the inside. Hancock covers that. What a ride from Zagor out in front. Fabulous move from him. Matty Zagar on the verge of a famous win here. Only his third win of his career. It's magic, magnificent. Matty Zagar, the super Slovenian who heads home to Krisko Slovenia for the next round of the World Championship on the back of a stunning win here in Gorjov. He's passed Greg Hancock. That was an unbelievable final. And well done to Matty Zagar of Slovenia. Here in semi-final number two. Well, Pedersen has made a beauty there, and Everson is with him too. Now, Wuffington is trying the inside line, and they're all bunching up now, coming out of turn number two. And it's a Danish one-two. Nicky Pedersen with the lead. Niels Christian Everson is second, but Wuffington is going high and wide, and he's trying absolutely everything now. Wuffington having it all on with uh, Troy Batchelor at the back, but it's Pedersen from Everson. Wuffington trying absolutely everything here. Well, Nicky Pedersen took full advantage of the inside gate there. This time Time Ty Wolfenden spun up and missed the start. Everson in second place is under a huge threat from Wolfenden. Wolfenden on the inside. Whoa! Wolfenden in the second place. Runs wide. Hits the dirt. Brilliant stuff from Ty Wolfenden to get into second place. How is he doing it? And he's getting closer to Pedersen here. You don't need to win the race. Wolfenden, you can hold back here. Pedersen has the advantage. Wolfenden is second, but he's still going wide. He is really riding the wheels off the speedway bike here. Here he comes, oh! down into turns three and four. He's after Pedersen. He's going to try the inside switch. Oh, my goodness. Stun him. him on the line. What a stunning run. Has he got to the conclusion of the race? Still to win on the line for two laps. It looked like he was going to miss out on the final. What a sensational ride from Ty Wolfenden. Can you believe what you've just seen? No. Down to the line. Here we go. Wolfenden wins it. Blue, red is the call from the referee. That means Wolfenden from Pedersen. Looks a lot, look how he looks, he's studying here. 
Nicky tries to clamp the inside line. What a move, Kelvin. Absolutely fantastic. There's only a few riders in the world that could perform that well. That really was something very special. For at least two laps, he was out. Everson was in second place, had it under control. It was looking like a Danish one-two, but that was something very special. You'd have to go an awful long way to see a better ride than that. Here we go! Great start from Doyle off the inside. Nicky Pedersen charging hard, but Jepsen Jensen has got some drive and kill him in his third. Oh, Pedersen almost got off the bike again there. The lead is with Jason Doyle. Jepsen Jensen has gone wide. Kilman's oh. gone through all! Oh. Nicky Pedersen almost clipped Jepsen Jensen. It's all happening out there now. Unbelievable stuff with Doyle leading and Kilman second. Yeah, Peter Kilman coming through after a really hectic night for him. A question about that. Spectacular speedway. Peter Kilman somehow has come through. Michael Jepsen Jensen is second. The Danes are dominant here. Listen to the crowd here in Horsens. What a ride from Peter Kilman and Michael Jepsen Jensen. How on earth did they pull that off? I really don't know. Jason Dog got himself in all sorts of trouble, was comfortable, and then suddenly lost all his speed coming off turn four. Got himself in trouble and then the Danes pounced. Jepsen, Jensen, what a ride from him. Pedersen, that's desperate for him. Wiffen has just made the final. Pedersen doesn't make it. Heat number 19. Quite a lineup. And Wiffen and Spindler standing at the start. It's Hancock on two. Magnificent from Brent Hancock has the lead. And here comes Wiffen round the outside. And Everson is trying the inside line as well. Wiffen then goes wide. He's going to try the inside switch. And Everson's come through. He looked dead and buried there, but he didn't panic. He's so confident in his equipment. Got the better of the opposition, and what a move it was to get the better of Hancock. Hancock, for all intents and purposes, looked like he had it all sewn up. But the speed of Wokenden, the confidence of Wokenden, was irresistible. This crowd, absolutely on their feet. What a ride. Brilliant stuff from Ty Wokenden.